<clears throat> okay, uh, right off the bat, let me tell you a little bit what I do. Um, I'm actually listening to vehicles for friends right now. Um, I'm really good at eBay stuff. That's kind of how I got started in this business a long time ago. Uh, I do not do listings uh, hardly ever anymore uh, unless it's for friend or family because I'm extremely, extremely busy. I was fortunate enough a few years ago to start a company called Highline 4x4 based out of uh, just west of downtown Denver, Colorado. And uh, we specialize in hard to find Wrangler, uh, mainly Wrangler parts actually. Um, that went really well. That's where we're standing right now is my uh, the future of my old shop. Um, but I just was recently able to purchase Jeeps Unlimited, <clears throat> a company that was established back in 1984. And uh, basically we have three acres of Jeep parts now and we don't do just Wranglers. Uh, we do from the 40s eras all the way up to uh, current models. So <clears throat> back to your flat fenders, your CJ5s, your pickup trucks, um, to YJs, to TJs, to Liberties, to Grand Cherokees, Cherokee Sports like this one, and um, JK's new stuff. Basically, you name it. If it's uh, Mopar, Jeep related, it's probably something I'm going to have now, which is really cool. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, I went from working 80 hours to now like 100 hours a week, so I barely have time to do these now. Let's get back to the listing on this guy here real quick. So I know these things in and out because it's what I've done for a really long time. This is an 01. It's the last year of the Cherokee Sport, what they called the XJ. They built these from basically the 80s all the way up until 01, where they discontinued them. Um, they're awesome. They're four liters, straight sixes. They're bulletproof. They last forever. They run forever. Everybody loves them. They're great little SUVs. They do great in the wintertime. They have great transfer cases, great four-wheel drive systems, everything. What do you notice first off? It has been hit. Uh, the guy who owned this, his name's Jake. Uh, he's owned it since new. Grew up here in Colorado, bought it off the lot, and he's been in the Air Force. Took it to Oregon with him, took it to Washington. It's A lot of these are highway miles, although it's still very low miles. Um, but just recently, a couple years ago, um, went to Oregon, then he moved back here, and long story short, he moved out to Minnesota about six months ago, and then he tagged something. So. Um, I was planning on fixing it and then for him, but he got tight and money and I just basically said, you know, I'll help you out and then we'll just sell the Jeep and I can get my money back out of it. So um, if I have time to fix it, uh, when I bought Jeeps Unlimited up in Erie, I actually have about 25 of these things now. So, and uh, this one is a clean title still. It was a very, it's a light hit. Uh, there's a couple things to know. One, you happen to be talking to probably one of the largest Jeep yards now in the country. Um, so part-wise, I have all these parts um, readily available. Um, that's one thing. Second thing is if you wanted me to fix it, I could, but it's worth a lot more fixed. Uh, you're going to save quite a bit of money um, by either A, doing it yourself, or B, having somebody else do it for you. And if you just have no interest in this thing and I don't get what I know it's worth, even in this condition out of it, then I will fix it and uh, relist it in a few weeks. But um, as of now, uh, you're gonna need, unless you're, you could actually, this hood is probably not, that, I mean, it's a perfectly straight hood here. It's a little wrinkled right there. Um, so my opinion with hoods around, I'd probably just buy a new one, but that hood just closes just fine as far as uh, uh, lining up wise and everything like that, the lines and everything. So um, again, that's up to you, but for sure parts you're gonna need um, is I would, recommend basically everything up here that could have been jeopardized. So uh, the condenser is probably okay, although AC thing like that. Um, radiator again, probably okay, but um, it, it is there and it, and it is kind of in that area of impact. So um, those two things. This frame is fine, it's straight. It did not impact there. You can see it just bent the bumper and this is a steel bumper. Um, so obviously gonna need to do new bumper, new end cap or use obviously. Um, the, the grill assembly is cracked. Uh, the front, this is actually all one piece, so you can buy all that from me, use and save some money there. The front fender is one piece, so again, that, that piece is no problem. And you need a headlight assembly, we have those. Um, X-rays are not expensive to fix. They're actually, the parts are readily available almost anywhere, and they're pretty cheap. Um, the harness itself looks okay, although this is a basically a plug and play harness, meaning you can disconnect it over on that side and plug a new one back in. I did crack some of the pieces off of it instead of, unless you're really good with uh, playing with electrical stuff, I would say plug a new harness into it. Um, uh, and part wise, you'd be looking at about 400 bucks in parts to get everything um, 
done that I just mentioned on it. I'm not gonna include those parts unless somebody just calls me and offers me something I can't refuse. And uh, at that point, you know, maybe we can work something out. I'll throw the parts in the back seat and get it shipped out to you. Shipping nationwide, you're probably looking between five and 800 bucks. I know because I've shipped a lot of stuff like this. Uh, 500 obviously to the closer states, and then if you're all the way out in the East Coast, West West Coast, uh, probably around 800, 900 bucks, okay? It is rust-free. There's no rust on the, on the. this is a unibody. The frame is built into the body here. Um, there's no rust anywhere on this Jeep. It's a very clean Jeep. It was a Colorado Jeep, and we don't use this stuff on our roads out there. Tires aren't great. They're fairly worn. I don't think they're even, well, maybe a season, depending on how you like to push things. Um, we got the nice alloy wheels need to be, I never didn't even clean this thing. I have no time to do that. I wish I did uh, because it's actually, I remember him having this a few years back when he was out here and it's a really nice looking Cherokee Sport. So uh, it's got the roof rack with the bars on it and then it's got a bike uh, carrier, which I'll include. Um, he just drove this thing back all the way from Minnesota last weekend. So is it roadworthy? Could you make it back to New York if you wanted to? Absolutely, he just did it. However, it doesn't have a tail or a headlight, so you are taking a chance on getting pulled over because that's probably a very uh, simple thing a cop's gonna see and nail you. He didn't get in trouble from it, doesn't mean you're not going to. Um, other than that, I think that probably takes care of that. That's the only bit of damage on the thing, and it is, you know, obviously some good sized damage. Um, but it's, uh, it, like I said, didn't total it, clean title, everything good like that. Um, and the rest of the paint is pretty much immaculate. It's got a, it's normal scuffs here and there on it. But overall, super clean. Um, tailgate, uh, you know, the lift gate opens, good glass. Uh, needs to be vacuumed, didn't do that. Um, but everything else works. All the power windows work. The interior is really, really clean. Probably one of the nicer interiors I have. Uh, I've seen and at the end of the day I could definitely part this thing out and make um, probably two or three times what I'll get selling it like this but again if it if it helps you and and it just kind of clears it out of uh, my way for now that's perfectly fine it is an automatic and again it is a four-wheel drive um, and I have the keys here I'll pop in real quick I think the miles are like 130 but I'll double check for you um, has there's no leaky oil or anything like that and uh, the driver's seat, although it's in good shape, is a little worn out from from him sitting in it kind of cockeyed. So 100, just under 150k, 148,900. Um, started right up. Check engine light is on. I can plug into it if you're worried about that. It's more than likely probably something to do with that headlight or safety not being plugged into it. Other than that, their O2 sensors will trip in these things occasionally, but. Um, I would not hesitate in driving this cross country. I would stand behind it just like I stand behind any of my, my uh, um, listings I do and tell you that uh, if you decide to get out here and you don't like it, you're more than welcome to cancel the, um, you know, just cancel whatever and not and back out of it. Um, other than that, I'm describing it exactly like, like it is. And uh, if you're not serious about buying it, Oh, you can fix it or something like that, then uh, save us all the hassle. And um, I'll make a long story short, don't bid on it. Um, pretty easy going person, but you gotta understand these listings. These cost us about 80 bucks to put these things on. Um, and there's plenty of people out there who are looking for rust free Cherokees as of this one. Um, and that would, you know, would love the opportunity to bid on it and are serious bidders. So, if you find yourself in that, that habit of not being a serious bidder, please just um, don't participate. You can watch it and hang out on the side. But uh, my name is Jeremy. Feel free to give me a call. If you don't uh, decide you want the Jeep but you need parts, that's my main thing of doing these listings is it's free advertising for me. Put them up on YouTube at 720-987-8772. If you need Wrangler parts, um, this is my LJ that I'm currently building. Uh, this is my old yard. You can see all my racks of just thousands of parts inside. I got shelving up, whatnot. Um, but anyway, I got parts for XJs. Uh, like I said, I got about 35 that haven't even been touched as far as parts go yet. And then we have a handful just in the yard that we have parted. We have good engines, low, low mile engines. We got engines sitting in that uh, shop right now up in Erie that have under 20K on them. So um, 
give me a call if you have any questions or shoot me a text, email me, and uh, it'll go up tonight um, for auction. It's a no reserve auction, highest bidder wins. Again, I have no problem shipping it to you anywhere, or if you just want to fly out here, um, I'll try to figure out a time I can pick you up at the airport. I have no problem doing that either. Um, and other than that, you're getting a nice Jeep. Just got that front right uh, clip that it has there. So, all right, I appreciate you taking a look at the video.